everyone. Welcome to the Nail Tip Show. We're stepping out uh, our studio and stepping into uh, tiny canvases, the art of nails, um, in Oceanside Museum of Art. Uh, here, uh, we will uh, talk to a special guest of ours today, and she will share with us the, the goal and the vision of this exhibit. Uh, she's, oh, I can't tell you enough about her, but without further ado, please welcome Jan Arno. Hi. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you. Hi, everyone. Hi. I'm so excited to host you here in Oceanside, California. Yes. This is the Oceanside Museum of Art, mm -hmm. and Oceanside is actually the home base of CND. Wow. So my father had the vision for CND about a mile from here in the garage of oh our home. Gosh. And so on our 40th anniversary, it was my dream and mm -hmm. goal mm -hmm. to do an art exhibit telling the story, not yes. only of CND, but the story of our amazing nail professionals, yes. looking at the science, looking at what is possible with these amazing, amazing. tiny canvases. And to tell the story that so many people have no idea mm -hmm. what the profession is, mm -hmm. how the art form has evolved, yes. and the whole story of our industry. So we're very excited to well, have you. Well, first of all, congratulations. Thank um, you. I, we uh, prepared for the show. She walked us through a little bit, and I'm like, oh, I can spend hours here. But uh, mm -hmm. just so to, uh, to have the show start, can you tell us a little bit about uh, why or what? give you the idea to do this exhibit? Yeah, well, you know, it was our 40th anniversary coming along, and I realized that we started doing Fashion Week and doing extraordinary nail art over 25 years ago. Yes. And we would do runway shows, we would do these amazing theatrical nails, and then after the show, we would take the nails off the models, mm -hmm. we would put them in boxes, we would label them carefully, wow. and then we would put them in storage mm -hmm. in archive. We had 25 years, we had over 20,000 individually handcrafted nails oh my gosh. in storage, yeah. in a vault. And I'm like, what better time than Just our 40th? Them to bring them out, to showcase them. Mm -hmm. So in the exhibit, we curated it down to around 10,000 nails. Wow. Yeah, and and they're all It's every, amazing, guys. <laughs> every one of them is so amazing. So we start from this room? Yeah, yeah. let's okay. start. So, you know, to tell the story of the amazing tiny canvases, what I really wanted to tell first is the story of the amazing nail professional yes. like you. Oh. <laughs> amazing individuals yes. who are precise in their intellectual left brain mm -hmm. to be able to be so detailed and to do what they do every day yes. on their clients in the salon. But on the right brain side, to be creative enough mm -hmm. to see a color, mm -hmm. to see a, a fashion look, and to be able to create a nail that's exactly right for that look. Wow. So this room really honors all the incredible nail professionals, our Amazing. CND ambassadors, our brand ambassadors, the happy individuals that make up this $9 billion industry. industry. And I feel like we should be so proud that it's 98% female yes. entrepreneurs who have started their own business building, taking care of their families, building their own American dream. Yes. And I want nail professionals, when they see that it, this exhibit, to feel so proud that they have helped to elevate the mm -hmm. status of the nail industry, mm -hmm. that there is no more rich and rewarding career than to be a nail professional. Wow, wow, it's amazing. And just, I see a lot of pictures here, but can you tell us like approximately how many that you have worked with? Yeah, well, we we have featured over 300 of the artists that oh. we've worked with. Mm -hmm. And in fact, right on this wall over here, which I'll show you in a bit, 
We've listed every single, it's about 500 nail professionals. Oh my gosh. Whom, without their brilliance mm -hmm. and their participation, mm -hmm. we would be nothing. We would be, you know, we've got wonderful products, a great vision, but without the hands of the artist. I feel like the engines that keep it going, right? To keep they it, yeah. are the magic. Yeah. They are the engine. Yeah. And within this room, we have four flat screens where we show fashion week footage, mm -hmm. tutorial step by steps, yeah. how the products come into action. Yes. And then my favorite screen yeah. is a touch screen. Yeah, I want to try that. <laughs> where, yeah, shall I introduce you? Let's yeah. see. Why don't we say hello to Tracy? Yes. Everyone knows Tracy Lee. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, it's uh, so true. Yeah. And then she gave us a beautiful quote. So on this flat screen, we featured 24 of our most incredible nail pros mm -hmm. who have contributed to our tiny canvas exhibit, mm -hmm. who have done photo shoots, who have really influenced the direction of nails artistically. Wow. So we're proud of each and every one of them. And again, we celebrate them as we celebrate our 40th year. We thank them for everything they've Aww. done all their imagination and creativity. Yes. So wow. so that, you know, you can imagine people who are museum lovers, they come to our exhibit, they have no idea what the career of a nail professional is really all about. They come in here and they say, who knew? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I think because they, the only option, that usually they just go to the salon, get their nails done and get out. They don't really talk or most nail tech really don't really know beyond that as well, you know? Yeah. And that's why it's so great for you guys to put this together. Uh -huh. And so, so casing artists, the, the art, the industry, oh my God, it's amazing. It's what it's all about. Yeah. You know, I sit on a board called Beauty Changes Lives. Yes where CND has raised $450,000 wow. for scholarships for students and advanced scholarships. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, it's to get the word out that if a parent has a, ki a kid coming out of high school mm -hmm. or a school counselor is counseling someone, mm -hmm. you know, wondering what they want to do with their life, we're here to say, choose the career of a nail professional because the path is a very incredible one. It is. Nail pros have really found their mm -hmm. fame and fortune through social media. Mm -hmm. They're getting exactly. the exposure they deserve. So it's a very exciting time. Well, now I think with time and technology, things have changed because it's not just sitting behind a chair anymore. No. You can go above and beyond whatever you choose to do. Exactly. Right? The sky is the limit. Exactly. Yay. So, so. now we're entering this beautiful white space. Oh. This is our history room. Oh. And we actually start with the ancient history of nails. Wow. Um, Tracy Lee did, replicated these amazing gilded cages on her nails. It's all made out of gel, liquid and powder, all handmade with shellac and Vinylux, yeah. Swarovski crystals. Look at the details. The detail is unbelievable. But the reason we have this empress and we're telling the ancient history story is many people feel like nail art just it became, <laughs> it just started like five years ago. Oh, true. And what we've learned in the history is the Babylonian warriors, mm. when they would get ready for war, 3200 BCE. Wow, that far back? That, that far, far back. back. Wow. And it was the guys who started nail art because <laughs> they would put black and green charcoal on their nails oh, to wow. intimidate the opponent. Oh, wow. And oh yeah, they started it. And now black nails are as cool as ever. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> yes, yes. Wow. <laughs> but we also realized that Cleopatra you know, was really known for loving beauty products. She would use berries to stain her lips, lips and her eyes, and her eyes yeah. charcoal yes. for the eyes, um, henna on the nails. Yes, yes. And so we were actually very inspired 
this look. Um, this headdress, by the way, Billy Porter wore it mm. to the Met Ball, which was last year, the camp really? Met Ball, made, custom made by the blondes. Wow. And at the blonde show, we actually created these amazing winged nails. Mm. This is by Amanda Fantana Rosa. Wow. The ring on her other hand is actually handmade by Ashley Craig the winner of Nail Did. Nail Did, yeah. Oh, by scratch using liquid and powder. Oh my goodness. And we're really celebrating the fact that Cleopatra really brought recognition to nails, mm -hmm. um, but nobody told the story like John Nguyen has done here. Uh, amazing John. With his sarcophagus nails. Yes. The amazing John Nguyen. Yes. These are all handmade out of liquid and powder. There's hieroglyphics, there are, there's a mummy, mm -hmm. there's, you know, Swarovski crystals. Mm -hmm. And wow. we tell the entire story here in the museum. Mm -hmm. And, yes. and <laughs> okay. when we come into recent history, there are a few notable things on this wall. Mm -hmm. First, I'll start with the fact that Charlie Revson, the founder of Revlon, was the first to invent nail polish as we know it today. In 1932, wow. he decided to do an enamel mm -hmm. utilizing pigments versus wow. dyes, mm -hmm. which made it very wearable and shiny. Mm -hmm. So he was an inventor in that. Wow. And and then we honor Tippi Hedren, yes. who was the mother of the Vietnamese nice. movement yes. of nails. As a famous actress, she really loved the Vietnamese people, mm -hmm. would go over with the USO and Food for the Hungry. And when Q Ching came over at the fall of Saigon, yes. the two of them were up at Camp Hope, helping thousands of families in wow. the camp get ready for life in America. Uh -huh. And Tippi went to 20 women who were in Camp Hope, and she said, what did you do in Vietnam? Mm -hmm. And they said, we were mothers and wives. Mm -hmm. And she said, you need to become nail professionals. Wow. And these were the founding 20 women that have created this incredible movement. Like how blessed are we in this industry yes. that we have such incredible diversity. Our population is such a blended mix of talent yes. and proficiency. So we have a lot to thank to We to definitely do, we definitely do. Yeah, and wow. she's still with us. She just turned 90. This year? Just know, this just year. Like last month. Yes. Oh my Is gosh. Isn't that amazing? She's feisty as ever. Yes. Yes. So then we go to the C&D history wall. Yes. And I mentioned the home of my father. This is our humble wow. house where C&D was born in the garage. And it was really our very first product was Solar Nail. And my dad had a, had a patient at, at his, in his chair, mm -hmm. his dental office. And she was complaining back in 1979 that she couldn't find a sculpting medium mm -hmm. that wasn't thick, yellow, and brittle. Mm -hmm. So my dad invented Solar Nail which was the first ever cross-linked polymer resin, mm -hmm. non-yellowing, very resilient, you wow. can sculpt it thin, and that was the start of our business. And you changed the industry as well. Well, and with, our, with his vision mm -hmm. of innovation, of you can't educate what you don't innovate, like understanding the science mm -hmm. empowers intelligence. Mm -hmm. And our philosophy is if we can share the intelligence behind the product, then the nail pro can make the right decision for their client. So it's all based on science, on innovation, um, and of course, translating that mm -hmm. in a really creative way. Yes. Like that's our wow. first name, creative. Yes. So this gives you a historical look at some of our most iconic photography. Uh, just curious, how did you guys come up with creative nail design? Nail design. Yeah. I think it was my mom yeah. came up with the name and she said, we're in a creative industry we're really honoring the health and the safety of the nail. And at the end of the day, it's the nail pro that perfects
professional relationship that brings our design forward. Mm. And then in 2007, we decided creative nail design were too many words, so we went to CND. Yeah, yeah, made it easier <laughs> in this like easy communication society. Yes. Wow. And wow. I have to mention the sculpture overhead. Mm -hmm. We did this in honor of the removal of shellac, where we have 13 patents. And one of the patents uh, really capitalizes on the fact that when you apply shellac and you cure it, mm -hmm. once it's cured, there's a network of tiny tunnels all throughout shellac wow. so that when you put the acetone pad on to remove the acetone travels through this structure mm -hmm. hits the base layer and it lets go and wow. it's the only gel polish on the market mm -hmm. that features this scientific scientific capability mm -hmm. of removal with no nail damage which was our number one oh, goal no. yes keep that nail as healthy as much you as possible. You got it, absolutely. Yeah. And we've got our science table with, uh -huh. with all of our winning products, mm -hmm. every all of our custom patents that come out of our laboratory, yes. Retention Plus, Brisa, Spa Pedicure, mm -hmm. of course, shellac in the middle of the table. Yes. Really revolutionized yes. the industry. Yes. And our lab still exists, by the way. We're still in Vista, California where we have some of the brightest, most incredible scientific brains, mm. like, like making new molecules and wow. figuring out new science. So wow. it's Amazing. really where the magic you is. You guys working hard. Always. Keep, uh, keep our industry forward. You got it. <laughs> So now we're entering oh, the room. I love this room too. <laughs> this is all of our amazing tiny canvases. Mm -hmm. And what's um, incredible about this room is you see the artistry of the nails, but we realize that it comes from inspiration. Yes. Where we work with the designer, they tell us what is the silhouette mm -hmm. of the season? Mm -hmm. What is the colorway of the season? How high are the shoes? What, you know, what are the intricacies mm -hmm. that we need to bear in mind when we create the ultimate adornment of the nail? Yes. And then with the, the magic of our nail professionals, they take the inspiration, they use the raw uh, materials, material. yes. the liquids, uh, the powders, yes. the gels and the polishes. Mm -hmm. And then it is through their imagination that we then end up with all these stories to tell, oh all of gosh. these amazing nails. Oh, yes. And so you're going to start with this. Oh, look at this board. Look at this board. <laughs> I think this board has to be one of my favorites. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this is, this is the avant-garde board. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Anne, we learned a long time ago that when you're doing Fashion Week, you can polish a nail mm -hmm. and the model will probably walk down the runway because they're nervous <laughs> like that but you do an avant-garde nail they want and to show it off <laughs> they want to show it up you see their posture getting taller they become much more animated but that's so true with us too because anyway. when we have your nails done you you feel more confident You're right. you want you want to talk with your hands more <laughs> it's so true right? it's yeah. yeah you feel like you stand two inches taller yes. when you yeah. have great nails true and well so if i were to look at this side of nails, I think I would have to point out these incredible, incredible. what we mm -hmm. call voulez-vous bouquet, mm. made by Valérie Ducharme, winner of NTNA and from Montreal, Canada. She actually took layers of shellac, mm -hmm. cured it, cleaned it, mm -hmm. cut it, mm -hmm. and twisted it into bouquets, wow. and then put it on nails. Mm -hmm. These actually walk the runway. And, but you can see that with sculpting medium, mm -hmm. with liquids and powders, Shalina, she did Bob Marley. Yeah. All with fringe. Oh, so amazing. So amazing. Feathers and all that. Feathers <laughs> and every medium you yes. can think of. Mm -hmm. Very dramatic, very mm -hmm. different than mm -hmm. the other side. Yes. Which I would call our vintage board. Yeah. So on the vintage side, you can see that it's all about handicraft 
the, the detail of a beautifully drawn flower. Mm -hmm. um, I'll point out this nail in particular where the designer was telling a story of Memento Mori, mm -hmm. where in, in remembrance of a loved one, they wow. would take a lock of hair yeah. and then encase it in a locket that they would wear on the lapel. Oh. And so we created that on a nail. Mm -hmm. So these are actually real locks of hair. Oh, wow. In these nails. Wow. And there are several of the designs, different colors of hair. Everything is hand painted, hand beaded. Mm -hmm. oh the goodness. fringe, love the mm -hmm. fringe. And of and course, the, yes. Of course, the <laughs> faux fur. We, yes, you need to share a story about that too. This faux fur nail mm -hmm. went viral once it walked the runway. <laughs> Kelly Ripa wore it on The Tonight Show, mm -hmm. actually wore the whole manicure. Mm -hmm. And everyone was amazed. The biggest question is how can you do anything with faux fur nails? <laughs> And trust me, if you're wearing fur nails, you shouldn't be doing anything. anything. <laughs> <laughs> and what year was that? Ah, that was probably five years ago. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But they're amazing. It, yeah, definitely is. And then when we look at this side, pop look art. again mm -hmm. on the storyboard. Yes. It's all about pop art, graphic color, bold design. Mm -hmm. And one of my fa favorite stories are actually these very simple kind of Mondrian graphic nails. Oh, so much fun. It's so much fun. Mm -hmm. So these really showcase the artistry of a, a guy out of Berlin, mm -hmm. an artist in the 40s called Blinky Palermo. Mm. And this guy could not get notoriety. He was painting, he was starving to death. No one would look ah. at his art and he found a gangster in Chicago called Blinky Palermo, uh -huh. and he changed his name, put that on all his paintings, and became an overnight success what? because of his name. Oh my gosh. And so we pay homage uh -huh. to the creativity of Blinky Palermo. Oh wow. With a manicure, honestly, so wearable. Yes, Yeah. look at that. No, so cute, yes. right? Yes, yes, wow. Yeah, they're all like one after the other. Every one of them tell a major story. Stories. Yeah. Oh, I can be here with you all day and hear all oh. of <laughs> Well, and then I look at this side of the oh, display. Look at that. This is all about punk rock. Yes. Right? Yes. Everything from Gareth Pugh in London mm -hmm. to, I have to point out, Lauren Wireman's skulls, all handmade mm -hmm. out of retention plus liquid and powder, white wow. powder. And every one of the skulls has a pin in the jaw that the jaw moves and there's a gold tooth right oh up front. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and she, it took her hours to make the first design and oh. then the designer said, I want a hundred. <laughs> and Lauren's like, what? <laughs> no sleep at all. No sleep, <laughs> no sleep at oh, all. Wow. But you That's can amazing. see yeah. there, Ashley Craig did these little yeah. doggies. And look at the details. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The mohawks yes. and the little collars. The colors, yeah. yeah. Wow. It's really, really fun. <laughs> and then, yeah. So how long did you did it take you guys to prepare for this room? Ah, uh, so... I feel like it's a lot of work putting together. I would say close to two years, like pulling all the archives out, laying down the stories, like every show had its own personality. Yes. So we had to lay out avant-garde, vintage, punk rock, mm -hmm. like all these different storylines. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, hours of saying, well, maybe that one should go <laughs> there and that one should go there. And plus, we have the sides of the exhibit mm -hmm. as well. Yes. Where, look at these oh, amazing I, jelly nails. Yes. I mean, come on. Oh, my goodness. Such creativity. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So, the and chrome, then the gloss. chrome pinkies. Mm -hmm. we, um, we had the displays custom made. So once we put together all the nails, then we met with the display maker. Mm -hmm. And so it's a big investment to keep them perfect for life. Yes, yes. And then in the middle of the exhibit, we did these wonderful magnified displays because the detail, even in nail this simple, mm -hmm. that looks like the end of a rattlesnake's tail, 
the intricacy, how Tori Bastian, the artist, mm -hmm. figured out how to make this texture so, with such perfection that we thought, let's magnify it. Let's so tedious. So, so tedious. tedious. Yeah. And they don't make one, they make hundreds for a show. Every show we do, it's about $20,000 worth of materials and artistry and time. Wow. So the designers who are lucky enough to have our nails on their runway Very really are getting a treasure. Yes, yes. And here we have the incredible bird skulls mm -hmm. that Winnie Wong created. Mm -hmm. She made it all out of liquid and powder, Swarovski crystals. She went wild with chains and tassels. Pins, yeah. Pins. <laughs> and these nails were actually worn on the runway, on the model's nails. But the designer loved them so much, she actually made rings as oh, well. Wow. I find that to be a trend. When the designer finds the capability of our nail pros, mm -hmm. they want more. They're oh, like, yeah. okay, yeah. start with nails, nails, do rings, do pins, <laughs> do, yeah. Which that's is, so cool. it well, speaks. Well, that speaks a lot. It speaks a lot. Yes. It speaks volumes. Yes. And I have to show you this clock. This, oh, yes. This was on um, a partnership with Disney mm -hmm. with the blondes. And these were Ursula's claws wow. made by Tracy Lee. She figured out how to keep them lightweight for the runway. Yeah, cause by, it looks pretty heavy. It like, looks heavy, yeah. right? Yeah, like yeah. how do you keep it on the model? Yes. 3D printed cloths. Wow. So they're weightless. Mm -hmm. brilliant, brilliant, brilliant technology. Yes. Then she used shellac and retention to, to keep the shells on, mm -hmm. adorned with Swarovski. Wow. But every set of nails, what did she say? I think she said how many hours? Uh, 10 hours. 10 Is hours. It, yeah, each set, 10 hours. Every set took wow. more than a day of work. <sighs> and we had how many sets? A lot. Really? <laughs> Actually, I'll show you. The Disney yeah. is on. Is oh, that? yes, yes, yes. This yeah. is fun. Oh, isn't this fun? Yeah. And what's amazing mm -hmm. is that Disney, they were in partnership with the Blondes, mm -hmm. who are the very famous corset makers. Yes. Disney had to approve every nail design. So we designed our nails, sent it to D Disney. They were blown away. They oh, loved sure. everything. Yeah. But you can actually look and see the story. Uh -huh. Evil yeah. Queen. Yes. Ursula with the purple. Yeah. You saw um, Maleficent yes. immediately. Yes. <laughs> and then you can see Cruella. Yes. So brilliant. Oh, yes. And I have to point out, Lauren Wireman did the original Cruella comps mm. with needles and oh. thread, and she sewed like a nail tip together. Yeah. Her right. look at the portrait. Of yeah, I Cruella. Love that. Mm. I love it. Paris Hilton wore these nails at the show. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Lucky girl. Yes. Lucky girl. Wow, and then, Lauren, great job. A great job, Lauren. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all of these amazing artists, they their imagination is never limited. Yes. Like they see a story yes. and they go beyond. They crash the barriers. You Definitely. Know? Look at that. On oh. this side of the display is fun because there were several shows that we did like with um, uh, like villains, mm -hmm. you know, from comic books. You see the Joker mm -hmm. face. You see like the holy cow Batman, mm -hmm. you know, weapons mm -hmm. that Shalina made. I love this, like oh. shrapnel, like camouflage. Oh, wow. Yeah, so many incredible. And this is a nice mix of nail artists who mm -hmm. contributed to this. You see the Bates Hotel from Psycho, some of the oh, Alfred yeah. Hitchcock movies. Yeah. The, yeah, that was really a fun, fun display. And this is obviously all about bling. I mean, what woman doesn't want to load her nails up? With embellishments, right? Embellishments. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I think my team really pushed the envelope with how many jewels can actually fit on a single nail. <laughs> oh, right. I know, exactly. Oh my gosh. And we thank Swarovski, who's a partner with us. So we do a lot of really, really cool things with them. We're really yes. proud of that. Yeah, look at that. Isn't so that cool. something mm. so cool? I think this also is noteworthy. 
where Tracy Lee again, mm -hmm. she quilted the nude base of the nail, mm -hmm. did that extreme stiletto, mm -hmm. all handmade little roses, mm -hmm. every detail, super precise. Yes. Just because you have to make a hundred of them doesn't mean that each one isn't a unique work of art, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And then on this side, it's all about whimsy and color oh, and how fun rainbows is this? and oh. yeah. Manisha Rora in Paris. We work a lot with Marian Newman in the EU. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Ryan Lowe. It, these designs in the middle of the display. But I think these nails—they're like unicorns and magic. Tori Bastian did the rainbows mm -hmm. and the clouds. Um, such intricacy, but they're fun. Mm -hmm. And yes. when I'm here at the museum and little girls come, mm -hmm. they like this side. Mm -hmm. This is their favorite. Which uh, nail trend look or uh, is your favorite? Hi, okay. <laughs> I think this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so on our mannequin, we have four mannequins. Mm -hmm. um, but this, this fashion is libertine. My coat is also libertine. Gorgeous. But I remember the season, it was maybe two years ago, year and a half ago, where the designer Johnson, he's like, why don't we do, let's do something drippy, like let's do fringe. Yeah. And I was picturing maybe an inch fringe, and he's like, no, let's have the fringe <laughs> drag on the floor. And so we imported 4,000 feet of South African silk fringe, mm -hmm. The girls hand dyed everything in shades of burgundy and wow. sage and various, like we had six different colorways. We wow. got the, these long fringe nails on the model mm -hmm. and then I started to get nervous. What if she trips? trips. <laughs> what yes. if the fringe falls? Oh. But what happened is the, the model walked down the runway, mm -hmm. the fringe flew in the wind and after the show, Vogue came running up going, who did these nails? Oh, wow. And they were print, written up in Vogue the next day. Wow, wow. So I think they have to be one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. But I have to show you also Valerie Ducharme's finger gloves. Oh, yes. Do you remember? Yes, yes. She was putting oh, my goodness. like dried flowers yes. and doing all kinds of things. This is Memento Mori. Mm -hmm. where she put hair inside the gel finger glove. So the idea is if you don't want to wear nails permanently, mm -hmm. you can pop the glove on for a special occasion. Wow. <laughs> and look at how fabulous it looks with Libertine. That is so cool. But you know, over 25 years, we've worked with over 300 designers. Wow. And every name oh, you look can at, think look of. Look at those names. Amazing. Well, and you know, the very first designer we called was Cynthia Rowley. She was 25 years ago. She was kind of brand new as a designer. And I called her up and I said, we'd like to do the nails for your show. So that's was, how the fashion runway started. That's how it started. Yeah. I was a little shy to call like Oscar de la Renta, you know, I thought I'll call somebody new. And I said, we want to do the nails for your runway. And she said to me, why? And I thought, well. I've never thought before. No one thought of it, right? No, I mean, the yeah. nails were bare. Bear. So hair was done, makeup, everything was decked out. Yeah. But the nails were undone. It looked wrong. Definitely. So when she said, why? I said, to elevate nails as a real fashion accessory mm. that every woman and man can enjoy as a part of their look and expression. Wow. And in elevating nails, we're elevating the status of the nail professional. Thank you. To yes. be as high as they really are. You know, their impact on their client, what they do on nails is extraordinary. Yes. And we were really successful in putting the nail pro mm -hmm. in the spotlight, but really making sure that women could really enjoy nails mm -hmm. and express them in their own way. Yes, yes, wow. So it, that's how it all that's started. That's how it all wow. started. Amazing. And from that story to a corset made out of nails. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, 
So the blondes mm -hmm. contacted me mm -hmm. and they said, we've done so many cool things with you guys, mm -hmm. but how come we've never made a corset made out of nails? Yeah. So Shalina and Heather Reynosa, some of my team members, mm -hmm. they shellacked a bunch, a thousand nails. Wow. Put Swarovski crystals on, shipped a big box over to the blondes, and this corset was made, it walked down the runway, mm -hmm. and you can see the front and the back of the corset yeah. is equally adorned. And for our 40th anniversary, which is signified by the ruby, mm -hmm. they gave it to C&D as a gift. Wow. Is that amazing? So cool. And you said you have worn this a couple of times, right? I've worn it six <laughs> times and I had to give speeches every time. And what I learned is back in the days of corsetry, it was all about like really tight, yeah. tight, tight, like in the waist. Yeah. But then you have to keep it a little more open so you can move. <laughs> but I don't think they ate or spoke. Back in those days, yes, okay. yes it's impossible, <laughs> yeah. uh, but it looks amazing. Yeah, I'm sure they put a lot of hours putting this together, right? Hours. Well, you, and as well as the artists that did all this ch tips, right? Exactly, wow. it had to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And, but, you know, the generosity of such artists, like mm -hmm. they love our nail team mm -hmm. and our nail team loves them. Mm -hmm. And when I see this corset, I, I think of that creativity and collaboration. Mm -hmm. So lucky we are. Yeah, no, it's amazing. Look amazing. What, what you guys put together, how uh, amazing it is. It's so good. Uh, and then our exhibit I comes know. to a one. giant culmination no. where our guests and our patrons can actually walk the runway, yeah. join the like girls. Runway, Doesn't yeah. it feel yeah. like a runway? And Lisa Janone, our creative director, did this amazing uh, art installation using our lookbooks, photography from our lookbooks. Look, Blinky Palermo. Yes. There it is on backstage at the runway. And all of this, all the magic that occurred in every major fashion show we've done, you can feel it here with the magic of the runway. And for our guests at the Oceanside Museum of Art, mm -hmm. they spend hours here yes. taking photos, thumbing through the lookbooks. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> and we have our own paparazzi as well, featuring our photographer, Jennifer Greylock, mm -hmm. who took every one of these photos. Wow. Isn't that amazing? She did an amazing job as well. So great. So cool. But you can see, see the evil queen. Mm -hmm. That oh, was the yeah. shot backstage. So many people ask us, you know, your canvas is so tiny. Like, what does it matter? Mm -hmm. And I say, picture that photo with no nails. Mm -hmm. Is it the same photo? Not even close. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. What a difference nails yeah. make. Well, that's what I want. Uh, I want to ask you, what, why do you think nail makes, makes such an impact in the fashion industry? Well, you know, when you think about the statement that a designer is making, you can, you can hear the designer's imagination. Like, let's talk about Betsy Johnson as an example. Her girls always have like yes. tool skirts, pink dresses. It all looks very flirty and sweet. Yes. But her girls are bad girls. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> from their red pointy nails. Mm. So I find that a fashion designer can either accent the story they're telling, they can show the alter ego of the girl, mm -hmm. they can show the full picture of the story, they can even accent like a silhouette. Like my opinion, mm -hmm. when shoulders were very big and Doc Martin boots were in, that's when the long square nail mm -hmm. fit with the architecture of the other elements. True. You know, the stiletto heel came out, nails got thin in stiletto. Mm -hmm. So so I think nails bring balance, they bring expression, um, they become the punctuation mark for whatever it is the designer is saying. Mm. So as a uh, co-founder of c and uh, what is your upcoming vision for the company? Well, it's all about innovation. 
Um, our laboratory, it's a world-class lab, and I go like this because it's right up there. We're <laughs> moments away yeah. from our lab. We're not that far from here. Yeah, I mean, it's not that far from here. It's yeah. not that mm -hmm. far from here. Mm -hmm. But I look at our chemists who are designing new molecules. They're coming out with breakthroughs in technology. Um, you know, our objective is always to protect the health and the wellness of the natural nail, yes. which is goes to our DNA as a brand, mm. um, but to coat it, enhance it, adorn it, mm. you know, push length in the most efficient, beautiful, you know, I think crystal clarity is a real mm. theme right now. Nail health and wellness is a real theme. Um, you know, products and techniques that can adorn and enhance any nail, mm. despite the natural condition of their nails. You know, I think we're looking to round out the nail professionals toolkit. And I find every time a new innovation comes out, it's an opportunity for the nail professional to give themselves a raise, oh. to charge more oh. for what they're doing, yes. to put a higher value on the service, yes. and to bring greater efficiency to the client. And that can only come through breakthrough science. So true, so true. So as a visitor, what do you want us to take away from this exhibit? Well, <laughs> I think it's like, wow, it right? It is, it is. It's wow about the profession. What an amazing profession it is to be a nail professional today. Yes. The fact that nail design and adornment actually goes back to 3200 BCE. I know. Like who knew? It's not new. Yes. <laughs> um, it's here to stay. And creativity is only limited by the imagination, imagination. of the artist. So true. Well, so. definitely we have seen that here today. Yay. Yay. Thank well, you for Thank coming. you so much. Congratulations. Oh, my such a pleasure. For the anniversary. Wow. Many more years to come. Thank you so yes. much. And thank you all for coming with us on this tour. Uh, if they want to connect with you, how do they um, viewers connect with you? Yeah. Well, follow me on Instagram, Jan Arnold CND. Yeah. And let's have a chat. If you have a great idea, or you want to be a part of our extraordinary design team, let me know in person. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to hear from you. All right. Okay, guys. So Bye. From, from science to fashion to entrepreneurship, there is something for everyone here at Tiny Canvases, The Art of Nails. Thank you everyone for watching. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, and like us on Facebook. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, Bye. guys.